Well, hello. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jiu-Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back. Today I've got another product from Max Oak. And this one's pretty cool. This is a water sterilization bottle. call it a sterilizing water bottle to create a healthy life. It's, it says eye heals. This is using ultraviolet light to purify water and it's a water bottle. Pretty cool rechargeable ultraviolet light. So they call it a sterilization light. This is something that I'm pretty familiar with. It's very similar to a SteriPen. Uh, it uses ultraviolet light to purify the water, make it safe to drink. Now one thing that it says here very clearly on the package it says warning cold water only not for hot water it can cause scalding this is caution right there so this product is something pretty cool here's a look at the packaging very simple this runs for around the forty dollar price point I want to say thank you to Max Oak for sending this out for review let's open this package and see what's included so the first thing that we see here is a little white box on the top Let's open this white box here and see what's inside. It looks like there's a charging cable. So looks like a USB 2 to a micro USB charging cable. It's a very short one. Looks like it's what, six, eight, six to eight inches long maybe? Yeah, probably, probably eight inches long. So that's your charging cable. It's, what's really cool about that is this can be charged in the field using a battery bank, you can use your vehicle, you can use a solar panel, you can use a generator, or you can charge it at home using a wall outlet. There is the water bottle itself and inside the package I see some more stuff. Looks like some directions, maybe an owner's manual type thing. So it says DU06 sterilizing water bottle. There is the user's manual. So nice little user's manual there. And it looks like it has four different LEDs that are going to be used for purifying the water. Four lamps flash. It gives you like a little chart here to read. So let's take a look here very quickly. Specifications, gives you product and introduction, safety, safety information. It also gives you a breakdown of what the product uh, looks like right there hopefully you can see that and then on the back here there is like a troubleshooting chart and some information pretty simple little manual nothing too crazy I'm pretty familiar with with uh, these ultraviolet light sterilization techniques very good techniques this is a little brochure that kind of talks about some of their other products that they offer so take a quick look there just different just different products that they're offering just different things nothing too crazy so that's what's in this brochure and that that page right there is what we have right here in our hands which I think I'll come back to that page. It says this product is designed for cold water below 40 degrees centigrade. The unclean drinking cup, water pollution, and bad drinking habits have a great impact on people's health. Yeah, because they get sick, they get giardia, they get cryptosporidium, bacteria in the water, and in some countries, viruses in the water. Um, this product is de designed based on the concept of healthy drinking water and innovative design. Our sterilization cup adopts deep UVC LED chip to sterilize the drinking cup and water. The deep UVC LED has no mercury and there is no need to worry about heavy metal pollution. It's mainly used for outdoors, tourism, children's water cups, etc. 
Note, water temperature should not exceed 40 degrees centigrade, otherwise it will affect sterilization effect and the water cup. And this water bottle is just barely over 18 ounces. So let's take a look. So you have a little strap here on the side, right there. Feels like an insulated water bottle. It says warning, cold water only, do not, not for hot water, caution, scald. They say that again. So that's a look at the water bottle. Here's a look at the top of the lid. You got like a power button right there and then on the side here I'm, I'm taking it that this is the charging port. So that's pretty cool. You got a little charging port there. You can take this off and there's a look at the LEDs and there's a look inside the bottle. This is an insulated water bottle from what I can tell. So the idea would be to take your USB wire which I have one right here on my bench and we gotta charge this baby so you can see that it illuminates green connect the charging cable the indicator lamps will turn to solid once fully charged so when it's fully charged these indicators will not dance around no more they will turn solid while the battery's charging I thought that I would take a closer look at this bottle Okay, so there's the outside, there's the bottom. Hopefully you're seeing all that. And then if you come around to the top, you can see the inside of the bottle is very clean. Everything is, is made really nice. The seal inside is, is really nice. And right here you have this kind of a rubber grommet looking deal it's flexible but it feels solid it reminds me of something like on an algae bottle or something it's really really solid and it just fits right on there pops right into place and it's pretty effective I think it's gonna work out pretty good this is fully charged now one thing that I want to make note of is as the battery was charging it would be like three lights flashing and then another one would go solid and then it would be like two lights flashing and then this third one went solid and then this last one was just the one flashing and then when it's fully charged all four of these indicators go solid so what that kinda tells me is it's almost a battery indicator 25 percent 50 75 and 100 percent so I wanted to run that by you now to operate this device once it's fully charged we want to make sure that we put that rubber seal back on. We're going to fill this bottle with unpurified water. Now, it's important that the water that you put in here in this bottle is pre-filtered, meaning run it through a bandana if you have one or your t-shirt or something. So, to prevent uh, debris and stuff like that from being in the water bottle. So, we're going to fill this baby up just like this with some untreated water I might have filled it up a little high it's also important to put fairly clear water in here if you put really discolored water the effectiveness of this isn't gonna work as well so yeah I'm leaking a little bit here I filled it a little too high so now on the side we're gonna push this power button and the purification step starts. It takes about three minutes for this water purification step to, to finish. And what's happening right now is the ultraviolet light is being sent into the water. And all the particulars that are in that water, all the pathogens, are being zapped with that ultraviolet light. And it's rendering their ability to reproduce. It's taking that ability away. It's not actually killing the, the things inside, but rather making it so they can't reproduce in your stomach so that's what's going on right now so we're just gonna wait and you see that I'm just kinda to tossing this up and down I'm just making sure that the water has some kind of flow in it so that I'm getting all of the water 
now you can see that the light went out this water is safe to drink at this point now one thing a couple things actually that I want to mention when it comes to the water purification step this is not going to do anything to take odor or taste out of the water it's also not going to remove any chemicals or metals that might exist in the water all it's doing is making the water safe to drink on a biological level. It's taken the pathogens and it's rendering their ability to reproduce. It's taken that ability away and that's what we call safe to drink. Because you're not going to get those protozoas and all that reproducing rapidly in your stomach. That's what this does. Here's a look at the lid and what that looks like. Just the little LED lights and this water is safe to drink now at this point. Again, I can't stress it enough that this water needs to be fairly clear, otherwise it's not going to be effective. In fact, I would go out on a limb and I would say that if you get water that's a little cloudy, I would do two, maybe even three treatments just for good measure. when it comes to treating water with this method you really cannot overdo it you can do this thing five times if you want to that's all that's gonna do is take the life of the bulb away if you're one of those people that wants to make sure that everything's good to go you know I wouldn't hesitate doing it a second or even third time So I think this is a really nice water bottle. I want to say thank you to Max Oak for sending this out for review. I want to say thank you to you guys for watching. I hope you got some good useful information out of this video. Please feel free to check the description box down below. I'll put a link to where you can find this product. And also feel free to leave your comments down below. Like this video. Share this video. And until next time, thanks for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day. And we'll see you then.